Here's a video on the two computers that I use mainly. Uh, this right here is a Lenovo ThinkPad T440P. I got this a couple years ago off Amazon. It was a refurbished unit, so I got a really good deal on it. And this right here is a 10-year-old Sony Vio. It's a VPC F133FX. I have done um, a few upgrades to this to make it a lot faster. Um, so this thing still has no problem keeping up with modern computers. Uh, the ThinkPad has a 7200 RPM hard drive. It's 500 gigabyte. Came with 8 gigs of RAM, and you can upgrade it to 16 gigabytes of RAM. I will probably do that eventually. Uh, the processor can be upgraded. It has an Intel Core i5 4200M dual core in it right now. It can, you can put a, an i7 in there, I believe. Um, here's the side, VGA, fan outlet, audio in and out, mini display port. Two USB 3.0 ports and an SD card reader. On the front, we just got our speaker right there. This is a very sturdy computer. Two USB 2.0 ports, Kensington lock, and a slot for an optical drive, which this one did not come with. I can certainly get one if I want to. Got the little uh, connection for a dock and the battery. Um, and this whole bottom cover comes off very easily, so... A very serviceable computer unlike Apple's and then on the back we have another outlet for the fan the charging port and Ethernet port All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up and boot it up um, yeah I haven't really done any upgrades to this thing at all it has a 1366 by 768 display um, and you can upgrade this to a 1080p IPS display, I believe. Um, there's really just a lot of upgrades you can do to these T440Ps. All right, so let's boot it up. Upgraded to the latest possible BIOS for this computer. Uh, it's got the trackpad where the whole thing just clicks down. It's got a track point, and this keyboard is absolutely second to none. The only thing I wish it did was light up. Um, and the one thing that doesn't work on this computer is the webcam and microphone module. I cannot get it to recognize um, the camera at all. I've tried installing drivers, updating drivers, and it just won't detect it. So there's something either wrong with the camera module or there's a wiring issue somewhere. Um, but that's really the only problem. As you can see, that booted up pretty quickly. Let's get to log in here all right there we go and yeah this uh this thing boots up pretty quickly um there's my start menu of course i have since they like to hide control panel in windows 10 i have it right there on the desktop I primarily use uh, Google Chrome on this thing, and of course I have the Your Phone Companion app on there so I can read and respond to text messages on the computer. I really like that feature. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty decent computer. Let's go into the settings and we'll see what this computer has for specs. So it's system. And about, this is running Windows 10 Home Edition version 1909. Um, as you can see, we've got a 4200M i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, upgradable to 16. And uh, yeah, let's go down a little bit. Windows 10, I didn't really go down there. Hang on just a second. There we go. Windows 10 Home. Let me turn that light off. Windows 10 Home version 1909. Yeah. Um, so this is a great computer aside from that webcam issue. It's very fast, very sturdy, and I absolutely love this keyboard. It, even with integrated graphics, it has no problem uh, playing high, at, high resolution video at 60 frames per second. So, yeah, this is probably... Probably one of my favorite computers that I've ever had. Um, it's by far the most durable. Um, 
But yeah, there's the ThinkPad T440p. Moving on to the Sony Vio. This is a VPC F133FX. This is from 2010. And it originally came with 4 gigabytes of RAM and a 500 gigabyte Seagate 5400RPM hard drive, which was a piece of crap, and it was extremely slow. It still works, and I put it in, in a hard drive enclosure so I can use it for backups and stuff, but I have very recently upgraded this to a 1 terabyte SSD, and I um, upgraded the RAM from 4 to 8 gigabytes which is the max on this, so it is a lot faster. Um, and this thing has no trouble keeping up with modern computers. This thing, I really, I, you know, I, I just said that, you know, this is probably one of my favorite computers. Um, if I didn't have this one, it would be, this would probably be my favorite because this thing has just lasted so long and it's still, it, it was just way ahead of its time. Um, I have had to replace that charging jack because that little plastic post in the middle broke on the old one. There's our Kensington lock and heatsink, Ethernet, VGA, HDMI, external serial ATA, and USB, so it's a combination port. Express card slot, S400 port. Let's go to the front. There's a very fully featured computer. We got our hard drive indicator and charging port. Uh, Wi-Fi on and off, and unfortunately that switch is broken, but it's stuck in the on position, so I'm good with that. We got our mem memory stick port and SD card port, and that's it for the front. Let's go over to the right side. Power button, Blu-ray disc drive, and two USB 3.0 ports. We got an audio input and a optical audio out, as well as analog audio out combination and there's really nothing on the back to see. So let's go ahead, open this thing up. It boots up real quick uh, with that SSD. And it's got an Intel Core i7, I believe it's a Q740 Clarksfield chip. So it's no slouch whatsoever. All right, here's a look on the inside. It's in excellent condition aside from this uh, discoloration where my wrist usually rests. Like I said, Intel Core i7, um, Blu-ray disc draw, uh, reader, and it's got a full light-up keyboard number pad, which I really like and I wish the ThinkPad had, but um, it's beside the point. Let's go ahead and boot this thing up. It's got a web camera that actually works. Uh, it, has absolutely horrible low light quality, but in good lighting conditions, it's pretty good. But let's boot it up, see how quickly it is, or see how quickly it goes. This has, remember, this has a one terabyte Samsung SSD. There we are at our welcome screen. Let me log in. Okay, just logged in. Got our network connection already up, so, well, actually, no, I'm gonna open the file explorer first, just so you can see how quickly things open. So, I just clicked on it. There's our file explorer. Let me open, open office. Again, very quick, open a text document. And this uh, computer is also running uh, version 1909 of Windows 10 Home Edition. It originally came with Windows 7. Let's open up Google Chrome. Just clicked on it, it's already up. And we'll go to, uh, let's go to eBay first. And I'm sorry about that weird uh, effect that you're getting. Yeah, as you can see, it open that up real quick. Let's go to youtube.com. Again, very quickly, this thing has no trouble whatsoever playing 60 frames per second uh, video 1080p. Um, it can play 
I don't know if I mentioned this yet or not. It's got a uh, NVIDIA graphics card dedicated. Uh, it's got one gigabyte of video RAM, um, and it can play, you know, uh, 1080p at 60 frames per second, which out without a problem. Uh, it can play 1440p and uh, 2160p um, at 30 frames per second, but if you try to do those at 60 frames per second, it starts getting pretty choppy because this computer, again, it's 10 years old. That stuff wasn't even, you know, 1440p and 4K video wasn't even around back then. Um, well, not as much as it was today, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, so there's a YouTube home screen. Trackpad is in good condition. Keyboard on this is, uh, again, it's a really good keyboard. Um, I love the fact that it lights up. Let me get the hell out of this. Um, this is probably the second best computer keyboard that I've ever used. It's not quite as good as the ThinkPad, but it's still pretty darn good. So that is a look at the Sony VAIO VPCF1. Still in excellent shape and still has excellent performance even uh, 10 years later. There's our intake vent. It's got uh, access to the SSD right there and access to the RAM right there, battery. And amazingly enough, this battery still works after 10 years. It only holds a charge for about an hour, but um, so yeah, I'll probably eventually replace that battery, but after those upgrades, this thing is a pretty speedy computer.